So we talked about the I, we talked about the M in image, and now we're going to talk about the A in image, which is being authentic, okay? I'm not going to take long on this because you guys should know what being authentic is all about, but I want to break down some things. One of the things about being authentic is, you know, you're authentic, right? When you have an image of yourself, and I'm not telling you how to create yourself, by the way, because only you know how you want to be as a person. But when I look at my image of myself, right, and I look at that masterpiece of my life, when I look at the masterpiece of myself, one of the things that stand out to me that I see is I'm being authentic, or being authentic is being real despite the odds, right? So no matter how the odds may look, no matter how the odds may seem, no matter what's stacked up against, against me, that I'm going to still be real no matter what. I'm going to still be authentic no matter what. Even in the industry where most people aren't authentic. I don't want to say most people, but some people aren't authentic because the thing that I get a lot from people, the main thing that I get a lot as a speaker in this space and personal development is like, Trent, I just got it when I went to Minnesota last week. Like, Trent, the thing about you is that you're so real. Just like, what else am I supposed to be? Like, yeah, I'm real. Like, what else am I supposed to be? I don't know how to be anything else. Like, you're so authentic. You're so down to earth. And I'm like, is that really like a, like something to be, I mean, I get it, be proud of, but like, that, is that like a uncommon thing? And they'd be like, Trent, yeah, it is in this space. So many people are into themselves and so many people say one thing, but they live a different type of life. So many people are afraid to talk about their losses or their setbacks or their insecurities. And you give all that to the world. And so uh, realize that like when you're being authentic with your image, you're being real despite the odds. You're standing up for what you believe in, even if that means standing alone. So ask yourself that question right now. Because a lot of people are about that life, right? Until that life shows up. A lot of people, they say what they believe in until it's inconvenient not to believe in it. So with everything you represent, we talked about living your standards, right? We talked about that. But for everything in your life that you represent, think about that right now. Would you stand up for what you believe in even if it means standing alone? Would you stand up for what's right in your life, even if it means looking wrong to everybody else? Would you stand up for what you know is real, even if it means being crucified by everybody else? Like being authentic in this world is a great accomplishment because you're being yourself in the world that's constantly changing, okay? And on your way to the top, I, I have to say this because every you watching this right now, you're going to elevate your life, right? You're going to go to a next level. When you look at, when you evaluate your life at the end of this year, you're like, man, I've moved up. I want to tell you something. When you're climbing to the top, right? When you're taking your elevator to success, don't forget about the people who held your ladder on your climb to the top. Don't forget about the people who, as you built the building, I'm not going to say take the elevator, but as you built the building brick by brick and you had people on your side, this is a part about being authentic and staying real. Because what a lot of people do, once they get success, they change. When a lot of people get money, they say, oh, I'll never change who I am. And listen, it's good to change in a positive way, obviously. But a lot of people change their morals, they change their standards. Once they get everything that they say, once they get everything they say that they want, they end up changing who they are. I see it all the time. I see it in industries, I see, I've seen it in football. I was guilty of it in football. Just being honest with you. Like, I was like, I'm not going to be anybody different. But as soon as I got that check, I started to change. I forgot about some of my people that was down with me, right, who just loved Trent for Trent and not Trent because he was an NFL player. And so I want to remind you, a part of being authentic is remembering who's holding your ladder as you're climbing. Remember who's your support system. Who's your foundation. Who's the shoulders that you can lean on. Who's the ears that are listening to your complaints. Who's the voices that's giving you positive advice and inspiration. Who are the ones that build it brick by brick from the ground up with you? Like, don't forget about those people. Keep those people close because as you build, whatever it is that you're building, right? As you become a master and as you build, as, you, as your gift ends up growing, there's going to be plenty of opportunities, okay, that are going to be presented to you for you to turn your back on those that had your back. There's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to become someone different. And the presentation, you hear me, it's going to be good, right? It's easy to believe that these people are really for you. <laughs> but those people weren't at your struggle. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying that everybody who wasn't at your struggle is 
like not good for you. I'm not saying that because there are great people that you're going to meet on the way in growing your life and networking that wasn't there at your beginning that's still great for you in that season of your life, that chapter in your life that you're currently in. But the point I'm trying to make is there's going to be people who take the elevator to the top of the building that you just built. Okay? While you build it brick by brick, there's some people that's going to take the elevator to enjoy your success with you. And don't let those people become your circle or become your influence in your life, right? Just don't forget about the people that started with you, okay? So that's one part of it. Also, when you're being authentic, when you're being real, it's about confidence. We talked about confidence last training, last month. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. But turn your confidence to the max, okay? Turn your confidence to the max. And what I mean by that, it's like, have you ever been like somewhere, I do this all the time because sometimes I don't like to be bothered. <laughs> and some of y'all might get this now, right? You ever had your headphones on while you're in the gym or you put your headphones on and like, even if you don't even have music on, you still do it anyway because you don't want to be bothered, but you turn it up to the max and you're in the gym. You ever had somebody like talking to you while your headphones are on and they keep talking and you're like, what are you saying? And you're like pointing to your ears like, I got my music on. And then it takes you stopping your music to actually hear what they're saying. And so I always say this about confidence, okay? A little cool quote. Let confidence be your headphones to hate. Let confidence be your headphones to criticism. Let confidence be your headphones to fake. Okay? Let your confidence be so loud. I didn't say cockiness. I said confidence. Let your confidence be so loud that you can't hear any type of negativity when you're on your road to become the greatest version of yourself. Okay? Like, notice that because I don't want you to think confidence is something that's loud. Confidence is something that's quiet that speaks loudly. Okay? Not audibly, but with your life, with, by your actions, by your character, etc. Okay? So stay authentic to your mission. Stay authentic to your vision. Stay authentic to your life. And believe in yourself. As we wrap up this section, believe in yourself because most people will not do it for you. Some of you have been waiting to like create that masterpiece. You're waiting on somebody to create that masterpiece of yourself, that image for you. You're waiting on somebody to, you know, pat you on the back, somebody to say, like I'm doing it, coaching you. You're waiting. I get it. But some of you are going to die waiting, right? Like belief should be an inner thing. It's great when other people believe in you. I get it. It makes it a lot easier. It makes it more comfortable. But if you're dependent on other people to believe in you, then you might be waiting your whole entire life. If you're waiting on somebody to tell you good job and pat you on the back, you might be waiting your whole entire life. You got to learn how to pat yourself. I do that often, right? I'm like, here, good job. <laughs> you got to learn how to pat yourself on the back. You got to learn how to believe in yourself because I'll tell you this. It doesn't matter if the world believes in you. It doesn't matter if I believe in you, which I do. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in yourself. You can have everybody believe in you, but if you don't believe in yourself, it doesn't matter. If you don't support yourself, it doesn't matter. Everybody can try to support you. How many times have you been in a storm in your life or you've been in a bad place in your life where everybody's like giving you advice and everybody telling you you're going to be okay and maybe it's you got your heart broke and everybody's like, oh, you're going to get over it. And you ain't trying to hear that, right? Your heart is broke. You feel like nothing is going to get better. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to progress. You feel like this is going to be the rest of your life, this nightmare. Nothing changes. Like you appreciate people planting seeds of greatness in your life, seeds of inspiration. But when does change really happen? When you decide to make the choice, when you decide to say, okay, I believe I'm going to heal. Okay, I'm going to take this journey. Okay, I'm going to take this step of faith. Okay, that's what it's all about. So A, stay authentic to your mission, stay authentic to yourself, and stay authentic to the people around you. Okay, so right now, write down areas in your life that you need to prove being authentic. Are you authentic to yourself? Okay, we have a worksheet with a lot more questions that after I... After I record this, I'll think about exactly the question that I, that I want you to answer. But the one that comes to my mind is actually like, what's keeping you from being authentic to yourself? And why do you need to be authentic to yourself? What is it costing you not being authentic to yourself? That's usually the breakdown of questions that I've always asked myself. Like, why do I need to do it? And what is it costing me by me not doing this? Okay, let's get it.